welcome to Keto Alicious. Today is a cooking day for me, and I am going to be cooking keto uh, creamy Tuscan chicken for you today. And I'm really excited. This is this has been a favorite of mine for a long time. I'm just ketoizing it. Sometimes I used to make it a little bit lower fat. Um, and of course, a uh, hundred years ago, I used to make this with pasta. So I would make it and then pour it over pasta. You can still do that if you've got uh, zoodles, zucchini zoodles, or there's all kinds of uh, noodle products on the market now. Uh, there are There's artichoke heart noodles that I've seen and there is comb jack root, which is a fiber. It's a type of fiber. Um, so those are, you can get those on Amazon. You can check those out if that is something that you're looking for. You could also pour this over keto bread. We've made a lot of the keto buns and rolls and uh, hamburger buns and biscuits and things like that. So all of that could be done um, and poured over, or you can just enjoy this just the way we're going to make it today. So I, um, my stove is good, but I just wanted you to, to get the visual of my whole kitchen today. So I just have a little burner that I'm just going to stay here and I'm going to cook with you. So I hope all of you guys are doing good. Uh, the last video I did was of my two month and my uh, my two-month measurements and my two-month weigh-in. So as you know, I haven't been losing weight as fast as probably everybody else, but you know, there's, there's things that come up in your life and sometimes you just have to, you know, I, I'm not giving the okay and I'm not, I'm not um, scolding myself or anybody else, but sometimes things happen and when you eat out, again, it's harder to manage and you know in everyday life happens weight loss motivation for some people is the hardest thing so we all have our good days and we all have our bad days but i want to make sure that even if i have a bad day you know if i decide that i've eaten something and and my scale doesn't look like it's going down i'm not going to let that jeopardize all of the things that I have accomplished. And I want to really reiterate that to you guys today. If you do go off of keto and you have a lifestyle that you love as far as keto, but life happens, please just get back on it. Please do not just beat yourself up and say you cheated and then just let it go for days and days and weeks and weeks because I have been there and I have done that. And I can tell you some days, even on keto, I could do that. You know, I could, um, in my mindset, if I don't just get back, if I, if I do something that is a cheat or dining out, that is foods that are, you know, maybe not keto, you could beat yourself up in. And, and previously I could go on for days and weeks and months, but because I am so passionate about keto and the lifestyle and the food tastes amazing and I'm seeing good results. I have found that um, just taking a mental 10 minutes to just go somewhere quietly and just close your eyes and let everything be silent or have some music is been my savior or talk to somebody, you know, that you truly know that they are on your side 100%. For me, I chatted with my sister today and, you know, she is very motivating for me. And so I want to give a kudos out to my sister. Um, I probably wouldn't be doing this without her. And, um, you know, she has, she's been one of my biggest supporters. So, and with that, that's why I'm in front of you because I'm trying to get a healthier lifestyle. I'm trying to go keto and learn as I go and teach as I go. And I'm going to have ups and downs and, you know, and I want to share them with you that, you know, I'm not perfect. And all of my videos are not going to be of me doing an absolutely perfect non, um, 
cheating, you know, my lifestyle is amazing and everything is perfect because that's not how it is. You know, there's ups and downs, there's challenges in everybody's life. And I do not want for one second for anybody to feel like she's doing good and I'm not because I have had my moments and I have stepped off of keto. And the, the biggest thing that you have to understand is step back up and take that step and get back on track and don't allow anything, anyone in your life to get you to the point where you feel so self-confident or con conscious that you decide somebody else said that this doesn't work and so you're not going to do it or you heard something on the news or you read something on the paper. Do not do that to yourself. If you believe in here that this is for you, then you have to continue on and you have to find a way to get over those emotions. And if you don't get over those emotions, do what you have to do and then pull yourself back and let yourself know that next month, if you get back on track next month, you will be a little bit further than you were this month. And to me, that is a huge, huge success. And with that said, Let's make keto Tuscan or creamy Tuscan chicken. So I have just a pan here and I'm going to add some olive oil. I've got it on medium. I'll probably turn it up to medium high. And I probably have one and a half tablespoons of the uh, olive oil. And then my chicken. And I, you know, you can do whole pieces of chicken. You can do the chicken breast. Um, I've done it with chicken thighs. I've done it with chicken breast. And But this time, I had some leftover chicken. So I want to go ahead and um, the cut up that I have, I'm going to go ahead and use that. And so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And I think I'm going to bring, actually... I think I'm going to bring this in closer so that you can actually watch me cook and then I'll pull it back out so that we can visit again. Okay. All right. So I've turned this up and my chicken is cooking. The chicken is about three-fourths of the way done, almost fully cooked. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about a cup of spinach to this. And I'm going to just let that simmer until it wilts down a little bit. And I'm going to add some tomatoes. And then I'm going to add some olives, probably four or five olives sliced up. And I'm going to just continue to mix this so you guys can see it. Oops, there we go. Bring it back out. And I'm going to turn it down to about medium because the spinach is just getting ready to wilt to my liking. Doesn't that look beautiful? Look at that. So gorgeous. And we haven't even added the sauce yet to it. So this is just absolutely beautiful. So the chicken is fully cooked here. And so next what I'm going to do is I am going to add about a cup of chicken broth. And you guys can measure. I do this so often I kind of you know, I kind of have a feel for it, but feel free to <clears throat> to mix it if you want and, and check it for sure. By measuring is what I'm trying to say. And then a cup of heavy cream. And now if you guys decide that this is too thin for you, feel free to add um, some xanthan gum. That stuff is absolutely amazing. Um, you can you can add about I would try <clears throat> with this maybe a half of a teaspoon and you can just add it to it and just let it simmer for a little bit I wouldn't let it boil you know I would just kind of have it on medium and 
you can you can get it hot enough maybe a light boil in the beginning to thicken up that xanthan gum but you know i am i mean it's it's totally up to you by the time i put the parmesan cheese in here the parmesan cheese kind of absorbs some of the cream anyway and i kind of like it a little soupier but i know that a lot of people have different tastes but isn't that just absolutely gorgeous it's just so pretty and it's you know it can be it can be cooked in no time you could put this over um, spaghetti squash if you wanted to it's just it's really good so after watching this I see that I have added a little bit too much of the um, probably of the chicken broth so I actually am putting the xanthan gum I'm putting a half of a teaspoon in and then it's just it's just like a powder form and then i just really just stir it i've upped my temperature to about medium high just so i can get a light boil so that the xanthan gum can thicken a bit and then i'm going to add my uh, parmesan cheese to it and you can add shredded you can cut it slice it add pieces if you like however you like your parmesan cheese i have shaved that's one of my favorite I use that on my salads and I use it on um, many of my different recipes so I just think that you guys you know feel free to do whatever you want to do now I use fresh tomatoes and you guys can use sun-dried tomatoes if you want I usually do sun-dried tomatoes uh, but I was out of them today, so I decided I would go ahead and do the fresh tomatoes, and I love that taste too. So I always try to make it just a little bit different, make it the same, but make it different, you know what I mean, just so that you have a variety. But this, you know, I, depending on how much chicken you have, for a normal recipe for this, and I think that's why it was a little bit um uh, soupier was I usually add about a pound to a pound and a half of chicken or diced chicken and I think I had a little bit less than that this time probably I don't know this was probably three-fourths of a cup so maybe I used about half of the chicken that I normally would use so but there you really have it it is you know, it's going to boil and it's going to thicken a little bit. And I'm going to take some of this. Oh, look at this beautiful shaved um, Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to just put that over the top here and let that melt down into it. Probably, oh, I don't know, maybe a half of a cup, or I'm sorry, a fourth of a cup of this. And it will just thicken. How beautiful. See how beautiful that is. Just gorgeous. I can get the lighting right. See, it's just boiling. It's thickening a little bit. Just a little bit of that xanthan gum does a lot. And that Parmesan cheese thickens it up. And it's just, oh, it's so wonderful. It's so amazing. So there you guys have it. Beautiful keto creamy Tuscan chicken. Look at that. Amazing. I hope you guys make this recipe. Feel free to, to um, try it and let me know what you think in the comments below. I would love to hear your comments. And as you saw, it's so easy. One of my mottos is keep it simple and keep it easy because if it's easy and you can do it in just a few minutes and your family loves it then you obviously will continue on if it if things are too hard and i know life is busy i know you won't be able to do it in time so that's all i have today i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you enjoy uh, this recipe i can't wait to sit down and have some of this and enjoy it as well and i am so glad to have each and every one of you guys watching my videos i love each and every one of you i appreciate you and if you're not a subscriber please do 
please subscribe to my channel and click the bell above so that you make sure and never miss one of my videos. It'll always notify you. Also, I hope you take into consideration today that if you are an emotional eater or you, you know, have your ups and downs, take some time for yourself. Take 10 minutes out of your day and just go away and hide. If it has to be in a closet, maybe listen to some relaxing music and just through that time, just kind of sit there and ask yourself, why did you start this and why are you doing this? And hopefully some answers will come to you and it'll help you to get back on track and it'll help you to continue on your successes as um, that's exactly what I have to do when I have down days as well. So take care, everybody. Until the next video, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.